It began as an idea. Take a viral video and refine it into a new combat sport. Many said it could not be done, but we believed in the process. From humble beginnings we grew, writing and refining the rules, hosting amateur events in bars and nightclubs, and developing the sport of slapping. During the pandemic, we were forced to produce our events in undisclosed locations. Warehouses, abandoned buildings, and empty event centers hosted Slap Fight Championship while millions of fans watched online. As the fan base grew, Slap Fight began hosting pay-per-view events and broadcasting internationally, spreading the sport to over 100 countries worldwide, continuing to build an audience for Slap Fight Championship. Now we have arrived, and we are no longer competing in undisclosed locations. After receiving over 1 billion viral views and hosting more events than all other slap organizations combined, we have become the top slap fighting promotion on the planet. With our loyal fan base in tow, we now embark on a new era in combat sports. This is Slap Fight. Good evening, fight fans, and welcome to the Inn at Grand Glaze Resort, one of our favorite slap fight venues located at the Lake of the Ozarks in beautiful Osage Beach, Missouri. We have invited 200 slap fight fans to witness the biggest super heavyweight tournament in slap fighting history. Over 2,800 pounds of man meat at the barrel tonight during Slap Fight 21 Heavy Hitters. All right, folks, we've got another last minute replacement here. The Mexicutioner, a crazy new character that we met last night at the Slap Fight weigh-ins. He is making his Slap Fight debut tonight. Five foot, eight inches tall, 238 pounds. The Mexicutioner is gonna fight another newcomer, Okuma915. This is Okuma915, first fight at Slap Fight Championship, but he's coming into our promotion with a 2-0 amateur record from a little amateur league that we've recently absorbed, Hacker Sir, Slap the USA. Sir, thank you, Ernest. We're in the Slap Fighting Championship. We're going to mandar este boy atrás to El Paso, Texas. And you're going to see him. He's going to get some cachetadas. What? And you're going to come with some pinches tacos and some cervezas Corona. Que vole. All right, I just seen the Mexicutioner's interview. I don't know what he said, but me and my team are about to show Slap Fight Championship what the Cactus Slap's all about, representing El Paso. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mexicutioner. This guy comes to us all the way from Branson, Missouri.
And now you're getting a good look at Okuma 915. Okuma 915 holds a, an amateur title in slapping. He's got a record of 2-0 and as an amateur. This is his debut at Slap Fight Championship, and he has a crazy competitor to deal with tonight. Okuma 915, he's a cool cat. He's got a lot of power, and he's got good technique. But tonight, he's fighting an unknown slapper, the Mexicutioner. Now, of course, the Mexicutioner is going to have to be unmasked now. And there we go. He's going to go ahead and reveal that beautiful smile. All right, the Mexicutioner versus Okuma 915. Here we go. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. All right, here we are back at the barrel with lead official Kyron Bowen. And he's just giving a quick rules meeting to our competitors. It's each of their first competition at Slap Fight. The Mexicutioner has several mixed martial arts battles to his credit and Okuma Slap Fighting credit. All right, so the coin toss is going to go to the Mexicutioner and we're gonna find out right now what kind of power he has in those big, crazy, broad shoulders of his. And here we go, round one. All right, just gonna check his placement here. Of course, at Slap Fight Championship, the heel of the hand may make contact with the chin, but it cannot extend any deeper into the face. The Mexicutioner knows this. He's just going to triple and quadruple check, apparently. Maybe he just likes the feeling of Okuma's cheek. I don't know. Here we go. Not a bad little slap there. I'm not sure if there was a step. Okay, looks like it was clean. I did see the Mexicutioner working on his stepping with Frank the Tank backstage. It looks like he's been successful in that. Okuma has 60 seconds to return to the barrel. Looks like he doesn't need the break. Bottom of round one. One, two, three. And Okuma with a big, big shot. Oh, the Mexicutioner felt that one. Okuma with a little bit of a, a different style than we've seen here. And kind of a lanky build and kind of a, a crazy windup, but that was definitely a a powerful shot. It looked like it was a little janky, maybe hit near the eye, the forehead, but but uh, nevertheless, it looks like it it looks like it's going to be accepted as a clean strike. So we're going to move into round two. Okuma 915 does have a team. He's got several slappers that he coaches in El Paso, Texas, all of whom have signed with Slap Fight Championship. The executioner has retired from mixed martial arts, and he wants to pursue slapping full time as well. Let's go. Oh, another little shot there, but Okuma just eats it. The fans love Okuma 915 and Mexicutioner. It's hard to tell who the favorite is here with the fans. We're going to move right into the bottom of the second round. Okuma's going to check his placement here. Here's your wind up. Oh, Okuma with another big, big slap. Wow. We got a little bit of blood here. I've actually, I've actually seen the uh, Mexicutioner compete in mixed martial arts many times. I doubt he'll quit from a bloody nose, but it is important to notice that that's only the second slap he's eaten tonight. 
The executioner doesn't seem to like the road rash of the slap game. He's asking uh, lead official Kyron Bowen if it's okay to continue if he's bleeding. And of course it is. The executioner is always a showman and he's gonna fit in very well here at Slap Fight Championship providing that he learns how to put his cap on properly. The audience doesn't care about the blood. They're ready for this match to continue. Okuma looks hype. All right, the executioner's ready. We've got two tough heavyweights at the barrel, both trying to make a name for themselves at Slap Fight Championship. Round three, Mexicutioner checking his placement. Here's your wind up. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Okuma 915, very impressive. Great chin, good technique, good defense. Glad to have, have him at Slap Fight Championship. Okay, as you heard, the Mexicutioner has just been giving a warning for stepping. Okuma doesn't need to break. The action here. We're at the bottom of round three. Being joined again by Frank the Tank. Frank's checking on his fighter. How's Maggie? One, He's doing two, good. Good. Oh, another good shot. The executioner. He may not be falling from the blunt force trauma, but he does have a little bit of a swelling on the on the left side of his cheek. A little bit of road rash there, and it's starting to set into him that he's in a different kind of fight than he's experienced before. That's tough, isn't it, Frank? You feel the burn like you would with a typical slap when you're up there? Yeah, the skin-to-skin -skin contact definitely makes a, a new Ooh. sensation, a new feeling. Uh, so let me just repeat what you said to me. You're saying that the skin-to-skin -skin contact creates a new sensation for you. Yes. Uh, it's not a new sensation for me, but I'll pray for you, Frank. Okay. All right. Frank the Tank just letting us know that his fighter Magni's in the back, and he has been okay. He's been checked out by the, the, uh, the, the medical team, and I think he's okay, but he is going to withdraw from the tournament. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. Okay. We'll see Magni again another day perhaps, but tonight in the tournament final, we'll see Full Freak versus Bulldozer, and I can't wait for that fight. But as for now, we're going to step back to the barrel here with Okuma versus the executioner. Now if you'd like to if you'd like to bet on this fight, you can go to DraftKings and you can bet on this fight the winner or the over under on which round the fight will end in. Betting in select territories only. Go ahead and check your local listings and see if you can bet and we'd love to have you entertain the idea of supporting our sport that way. Stepping back to the barrel here. I would have thought this was a mismatch if I'd have saw these guys just walking up together. They kind of look like the number 10. Oh, Okuma eats another shot, only this one was kind of to the jugular. We have a flinch warning on Okuma. Okay, they're going to warn Okuma for flinching. If he does flinch again, though, he will lose a turn. Yeah. Round four. One, two, three. Oh, another good shot. Okuma with some great, great slaps tonight. I think what we're seeing here is the birth of a new talent at the heavyweight division. And I'll tell you now that last night at the slap fight weigh-ins, we noticed that Okuma is capable of making both light heavyweight and heavyweight. So I would love to see this man bounce back and forth between weight classes. I've also got to say that you cannot count out the executioner. I've seen this man down and out in several fights. I've seen him turn it around several times. And uh, I'm sure that that's on his mind now. You can see a little bit of road rash there on his left cheek, a little handprint of Okuma to take home with him later tonight. But you can also see that that red mark is right in the strike zone. 
What do you think about this guy, Frank, the executioner? Have you spent much time talking to him? I've spent a little bit of time working with him. Um, he seems like a good guy, has uh, a little bit of knowledge from watching our videos, and seems like he's going to do fairly well. He just needs to practice a little bit more. I do believe he's still in this fight. I just don't know if he's winning at this point, but we do have several rounds left. I think we're halfway through. Lead official Kyron Bowen is telling him to tuck his thumb in. Oh my goodness. He looks like he's throwing with power, but that looked a little bit deep. I don't know if they're gonna call a clubbing violation there or not. They're talking about it. We have a stepping violation. Loss of turn on the executioner. All right, with a stepping violation, it does look like the executioner may, may lose a turn. And uh, Okuma seems to be fired up about that. He's going to get to throw two slaps in a row here, round five and round six. Okay, I'm not so sure that they're going to they're going to need to turn that hat around backwards. That might be an issue here. Well, maybe Kyron's going to let that hat stay on. We'll see. The executioner stumbling around a little bit. His equilibrium is off. His equilibrium is off, and he's shaking the cobwebs out. I know this guy. I don't think he's going to pull out, but my goodness, he's getting beat up a little bit here. What a slap. Really impressed with Okuma 915. I've been speaking to this guy for the better part of the year. I've been watching him for a long time, and... Uh, I'm really glad we've got him here at Slap Fight Championship. I think he was probably the number one amateur in the nation for the last two or three months. And uh, now he's going to rise up quickly through the ranks. That doesn't mean he's necessarily going to win this fight, but I am very impressed with him. Anything can happen at Slap Fight Championship. And if the executioner can eat this slap, he does have a chance to win the fight. Here's your wind up. This man ain't playing. All right, the crowd is very quiet here. This is a this is a questionable situation here. It doesn't look like the executioner is quickly stepping to the barrel. In fact, he's he's standing back a few feet, thinking about it. The executioner has his sons in attendance tonight. I can see them surrounding the platform. They are jazzed up. And I'm not sure if they're jazzed up because they're enjoying watching their father get slapped in the face or if they think he's doing well. I'm not sure, but I'd love to know. All right, here he comes. He's back in it. We are in round seven of a scheduled 10-round fight. Okuma 915 on your right and the Executioner on your left. It's El Paso, Texas versus Branson, Missouri tonight at Slap Fight Championship. Okay, and it looks like the medical team's going to have a quick conversation with the Executioner. Clearly there's something going on with his nose. I don't know if he feels like his nose is broken or if maybe he's just uh, got a nosebleed. I didn't see any strike that would have potentially broken the nose, but again, I'm, I'm not as close to the action as the officials. Our medical team is led by Roger Bennett. I've personally done over 100 events with Roger Bennett. He's one of the best in the business. And as long as we've had Roger Bennett at platform side, we've not had a single injury at Slap Fight Championship. So a, a heartfelt thank you to Roger for helping keep these slappers safe. Ladies and gentlemen, we may have a winner here. Did the Mexicutioner? Oh, no. Okay, he's going to continue. The Mexicutioner thought about it. And now he's going to step back to the barrel. That's a little bit of a surprise. 
All right, we're in round seven, and I believe he's going to be able to return with a, a slap here. He sure milked that break. All right, here we go. All right, that was a little bit sloppy there. I believe the executioner, he hit the barrel. I don't know if that was due to a step. At the same time, Okuma sort of flinched a little, but it might have been because he saw the barrel flying at him. Another conversation by the officials. This is a messy, sloppy fight. We have another stepping violation. Oh, no. The executioner is going to lose another turn here. Oh, that must feel horrible. The officials here for the Slap USA do not play around. They regulate these fights the best they can, and they're very, very strict with these penalties because at the end of the day, it's about each fighter making it home safely. Frank the Tank recently went un under, undergo, he went, uh, excuse me, he underwent a whole bunch of medical testing, and I know they did a brain scan on you, and after 19 fights, what did they find? They didn't find anything. They found nothing. <laughs> Oh, that was a flinch by the executioner. Look at him. It's almost like he's... Okay, we've got some more. What a crazy fight. It, it, it almost looks like the executioner is out we on his feet. We have a club feet. warning on Akuma 919, 1015. Oh, okay, Okuma's gonna have a club. This is a crazy fight, Frank. I, I don't know that I've seen one like this uh, since the Mexican versus Aloha Samurai or Ricky versus Leadbelt fights. Some of these fights are so hard to call just because of the penalties. And, and uh, this one here, I would say we have a clear winner in Okuma 915, providing that he can make it past the 10th round. Just to be clear, though, Frank, you, you underwent a lot of, of uh, medical testing in your last fight. You also had a brain scan. And after 19 slap fights, you have absolutely no residual effects, is what they told you. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. I've had uh, I. Uh, big eye exams and everything to check facial structure damage and all that kinds of stuff and they said everything was good even after 19 fights it's fantastic that that's a testament to sports slap usa and the way they regulate the fights we really appreciate them their officials are great and they're easy to work with and most of all the slappers are safe here we go we're stepping into round eight here's another slap oh that's gotta suck oh my goodness Holy smokes. I once asked the Bayou Bastard how it felt to get slapped repeatedly like that. He said it feels like a leather belt to the face. I will say uh, these slaps sound a lot like Wolverine slaps too. Yeah, I do feel like Okuma 915 is a great new talent for us here at Slap Fight Championship. But also, let's let's be honest here. We've got a guy here in the executioner. He's a great showman. He's taking some big damage. He's throwing some good slaps. And once he gets his game together, we may see a future for him here as well. But I feel like he's standing here having an inner dialogue with himself, asking what the hell did I agree to tonight? Referee Kyron Bowen. He is sponsored by Sangamon Watches. You can see he's wearing his Sangamon watch now. He's checking the 60-second break, making sure he gets both fighters back to the barrel. Okuma 915 is ready to fight. The executioner. he's just hoping to make it through without taking a nap, I think. This is a big, thick man. He's going to slap in round nine here. Okuma looks like he's in the zone. Here's your windup. Oh, I'm not sure what went wrong here, but that wasn't a great slap. All right, line official Q Davidson is talking about the feet movement of the executioner. Lead official Kyron Bowen's making a few comments about the flinching of Okuma. Possible clubbing and a flinch, but we're going to keep it running. Okay, it seems that neither of those enough of a violation to stop the action. Fantastic. Referee Kyron Bowen enjoying this fight. We're in round nine. Okuma 915. Oh, another big shot. Whoa! 
Oh my goodness, the executioner taking heavy damage. This man refuses to lay down. Super swingy arms. I tell you what, there's a lot of tension in this room here, and I think most of the tension are the fans wondering whether or not the executioner is going to make it to the end of the fight. These slaps sound incredible live. Those of you that would like to see a show live, come and see us at slapfight.live. We make announcements constantly about our shows, where they're going to be held. One, Round 10. Two, three. Okuma feels like he may have flinched on that one. You can definitely see the willpower with the executioner. He's definitely taken a lot of damage, and you can see how much he still wants to continue. Yeah, I would agree with you there. This guy reminds me of your first fight against Zeus. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Back, uh, back at the first event we had, Slap Fight 1, it was years ago. It was in a little bar in southeast Missouri, and uh, Frank showed up. He looked he, he pretty inexperienced guy. He, he won his fights. He looked like a a future star of the sport, but this is what some of those fights look like in the early days. Yeah. All right, round 10, Okuma. Oh, that was definitely a, definitely a flinch by the executioner, caused him to get smacked in the temple. It almost just looks like something smells horrible to the executioner, but that's what his stink face looks like. Look at the swelling on the left side of the executioner's face. We are close to the end of the match. And the executioner has made it through the fire all the way to the end of the match. I don't think there's any question who the winner is, but we'll wait for the official announcement and judge's decision. The judges are tallying up the score. I wonder how that mask is going to feel to the executioner after this fight. Awful lot of chatter between the officials and the judges here. I don't know what the question is. Maybe it's just tallying up all of the penalties. I feel like it's pretty obvious who won this fight. Here we go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it from both of these warriors. <laughs> There you have it, friends. Okuma 915 improving his career record to 3 0, 1 0 at Slap Fight Championship. Don't go, no, don't go too far, brother. So uh, come, come here and talk to me for a little bit. Now, I have a feeling that you, you slapped somebody before because, man, you had right from the get go a lot of power in that slap. Have you been training for this? Not really. Really? So, so what is it? What's the secret, man? Because you were hitting hard. Don't get knocked out. <laughs> it's good strategy. All right, man. Let's tell me about your name, Okuma. I believe that's Japanese. Uh, Japanese means a large bear. Large bear. All right. So you have a big bear. That's the that's the secret right there. Your paws. All right, man. Well, congratulations. You look good. Fantastic. All right. Go there and go celebrate. Okuma. Yeah!